Greetings, one and all. How's everyone doing? I hope well. It's another rainy day. Shocker. You know, what are you going to do? It's December 15th. The weather just is... It's sunny on my days off. Or, no, it's sunny on days I work. And it rains on the day off I have. So, let's get to it. Alright, let's get the uh, stove fired up. I really don't want a big flame because uh, I'm not trying to char my food. But it is pretty chilly out here. But kind of disappointing. Where'd go? Alright, so we'll get some ham in here and get this ham cooking up so the ham will be hot. Actually gave me a little bit more than I wanted, but that's all right. And bring any napkins with me or paper towels. So I just lost it. Hijack one to my set. So my new plan will be uh, a little bummed about the butter, but whatever. I'll just put the butter in the pan and put the bread right on top of it. And then um, see if that will get get it going. I could get this in the center. Well, well, I'll just pull it aside. It's already smelling. Okay, so we'll get this on the foil, which I know it's going to cool it down, but not much I can do about that. Butter. And put the bread on it. And here's I have uh, smoked gouda and also uh, sharp cheddar cheese, Tillamook brand. Hand back in. Well, it's still hot. That way, it'll help melt the cheese too. This Tomac cheese is thick. Then I have my. Actually, it's on the other side of the camera yet again. I have my. Uh, I have to light my fire. Um, like lunch kit, so I'm gonna use this as a plate. Something else I haven't used in a while, which no excuse why. See, one time before I was using this pan, but I had these uh, handles flipped in, and uh, I was using the gas, and it was snuffing my fire out because I was suffocating it. And then I realized you had to flip these little tabs out. So, you know, live and learn. It's not like I'm a stove, stove master or anything. Check the bottom. I think it's looking all right. Another wave of butter for the other piece of bread. Turkey. 
that. That's not looking too shabby. I'm sure my execution could be a little bit better, but I got my T right here. Probably could be drilled a little bit more, but. My biggest concern is not having it burn. So, bring it back when it's. Oh, I guess I could zoom you in. So, that's what she's looking like. Not too bad. Naturally, I'm going to be eating grilled cheese over the next couple days because I'd love me some grilled cheese. Although. According to Alton Brown, it's technically griddled cheese if you're doing it in a pan, but yeah, whatever. It's always grilled cheese to me. Probably going to be a longer video than I intended. Or there's a butter thing I might cut out. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see when I get into editing how long everything's going to be. I don't know if anyone's going to watch a 30 minute, there we go. They're not super crispy, but not not dark either, so I'm actually quite pleased with that coloration. Now I'm, at this point I'm just waiting for everything to kind of melt. Although I could use the bowl and put it on top. And uh, kind of like a lid. Do that. Yeah, that might work. Then that way the heat will be trapped in and then everything will melt together. Well, I guess I could use this cutting board as a plate as well. Either way. I don't want to get too hot. Oh, you guys can laugh at me if I burn my hand fingers. You're like, ah, moron. Now I'll bring you back when it's, wow, five minutes. All right, just flipped it off camera. She's looking real good. Not overly done either. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill the heat and eat. There you go. And eat this one. Pan's all got some coloration in there. I clean that out later. There you go. It's a grilled ham and cheese, smoked gouda and cheddar cheese. Oh yeah. That, that's a good sandwich. Hey, make another one. Alrighty. And fried up nicely. Uh, I kind of wanted to say that uh, one of the things I'm going to do is some of my canteen cup cooking ideas I'm actually going to change it to Trangia set cooking because you know frankly the, the set is just too nice not to not to use so I'm not going to do all the all the cooking that way but I'm definitely going to do more more cooking in, in this set because, like I said, it's just, you know, 
it's nice to it's a nice set and I do enjoy using it. I just hadn't been and I need to change that because it's a shame just let it sit and collect dust. So I was gonna gonna have it. Might as well use it. Alright. So if you're wondering why I was uh, doing the halves like this, well, that was basically so that the uh, I was worried about it, you know, spilling and like dropping half of it on the ground and making a huge mess. So I've got them having my crinkle cut salt and fresh ground pepper chips to go with my sandwich. A little crunch factor. Oh man, dill pickles would have been good too. Oh well. All right, let's see how sandwich number two is looking. Oh, dude, look at that. Melty, cheesy goodness. Nice golden brown. Not burnt at all. Well, this thing really has a problem staying on there, doesn't it? the heat. Nice. All right. Sandwich number two. There's one thing though. I think next time I'm not going to use spiral ham because it's got sort of a sweetness to it. I mean, it's good. I think I'm going to get like a black forest ham or... Something without sugar. Damn good sandwich though. Alright, I gotta say, the sandwich is freaking delicious. So, I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out on Friday, because I have the day off Friday. I might do another sandwich, another kind of sandwich, maybe. Leaning towards it because, you know, it's just been raining and crap. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Which I've been uploading, uh, if you're new to the channel, I've been doing Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I've also been doing a Wednesday video, which I have to literally go home. I have to stop at the store, buy the ingredients, cook it tonight, edit, and then upload it for midnight's uh, schedule. So, I better get cracking. So, see ya.